Okay, so guys, so first thing first, we need to back up uh, the entire disk onto an external drive. Um, I used Clonezilla, an open source um, Linux based operating system. Uh, I backed up everything to an external drive and I will be uh, restoring this once I replace the NVMe drive inside the iMac. Now, um, this little tool came with the stickers and the glue stickers that I got from Amazon. Uh, we're gonna try and uh, detach the LCD from the frame. Um, so just be really careful with this tool and uh, just run it a few times uh, to get that glue off of the LCD and the frame. Uh, the glass is easily breakable, so be really careful. So once the LCD is uh, detached from the frame, um, you, you carefully lift the top side and uh, there are a couple of cables that are still attached to the uh, logic board. We need to detach those cables and uh, try to get the screen off. Uh, again, the bottom side of that screen still has glue on it, which we haven't touched. So uh, carefully using that tool and the credit card, uh, try to remove the glue and get the screen off.
and this is how the inside of this iMac looks. So first thing, we need to get rid of that left speaker. So unscrew the left speaker, be really careful because that the cable for the power button is right under that. So when you take the speaker off, just be really careful. Then we take the uh, power supply out. Uh, there, there's one cable uh, in the front that you can see and then there are a couple of cables in the back as well as the uh, power button cable that's attached to the power supply. Uh, so be really careful in removing those. Now we'll remove the fan and uh, after that we'll try to remove the logic board. Uh, on the top right, you will see the Wi-Fi PCI card uh, that we have to remove. Here's what the logic board looks. As you can see, I already have a Western Digital NVMe SSD in there. Um, I installed that the first time I opened up uh, my iMac and I'm using a little adapter that con uh, that converts uh, a regular uh, M.2 to the, the, the form factor that Apple has. The only reason I am replacing this drive is that it's not big enough, it's only 500 gigabytes. I'm going to install my um, Samsung 980 1TB uh, NVMe drive to give me more storage. My iMac had uh, i5 initially, which I upgraded to uh, i7 6700. Uh, I believe you can also use the uh, 6700K, uh, but it may not, the, the cooling may not be enough, or you might be limited when it comes to overclocking and stuff like that. Not sure, but you can try. So once we put the new drive in, it's time to put everything back. Uh, we're gonna start by putting the logic board in and, and putting the PCIe card for the Wi-Fi. I'm also upgrading the uh, the one terabyte Fusion drive to a four terabyte uh, Western Digital drive. Now you do need the, the sensor cable, otherwise your fan will start going crazy. You can either do, get the cable or install the uh, SSD fan control. Once everything is uh, inside and screwed in, uh, comes the, the, the second most difficult part of this uh, job, which is getting rid of the uh, glue on the frame as well as the LCD. Um, I, I suggest using um, it, blow dryer to, to heat it up and then remove it. I used a few methods, but uh, it's time consuming and you just have to remove them. Uh, you have to do the same thing on, uh, on the LCD as well. 
once everything is removed you can put the new uh, double-sided tape on the frame um, and then uh, we'll just put the screen back on I forgot to turn on my camera uh, when I was putting the screen back, uh, so I'm just putting the uh, the tape on there to keep it keep it in place until everything is uh, glued in. Once the LCD is back on the frame, uh, as you can see, it's giving me that that little question mark, the hard drive question mark. You need to uh, clone the drives back from the external drive, so all the partitions are back. Once you do that, you'll be able to get back into your iMac. Once again, thank you for watching. All the links are in the description. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.